Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the carnival. It's Venargle coming back at you. I have a new video, a new series of videos that I'm going to be doing. It's going to start, of course, with my Fallout game because it's my most popular videos, and then eventually we'll work it into Skyrim. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing mod reviews of my current playlist of mods. So I know I've got about two to two, 200 to 250 in Fallout. Some of them will be combined into a pack. Some of them will be individual. The larger ones will probably be individual. But the videos won't be that long. The videos are actually going to be kind of short. Just because I want to you know, get, get the word out there to what, what I'm doing or what I'm using and what do I think of these. So we're starting today of course. We'll start right at the top of my mod list with a bundle of tape. This mod is created by a ass ax ass so a s x a s i have no idea how he pronounces it whether he spells it or whatever but this man is a very very popular modder on the nexus and the mod you're looking at is a bundle of tape the weapons a weapons pack what it is is it's a combined pack of all the weapons he's created uh there's a, there's a few that aren't put in here, but this is the primary ones that he's incorporated into the game. The SVT-40 sniper rifle, so the Russian-made sniper. Um, it is lore-friendly because it, it, a very similar product was in New Vegas. Uh, the M1 Garand, it's lore-friendly because it, World War II weapons are lore-friendly to the game. The Varmint rifle, of course, from New Vegas. It's, it's technically a 5.56 sniper rifle. Um, the handmade revolver. Now, he said this is based on concept art, so technically it could be lore friendly. It's just a junk revolver, um, a junk automatic weapon, the blowback, which is, of course, uh, as well from concept art. So there you go, right there. I mean, these are all technically lore friendly mods, and the concrete sledgehammer, which we we've seen in I think Fallout Three and, and Elements in Fallout New Vegas. So. All of these weapons are lore-friendly, and as you guys know, I have a real lore-friendly kick when it comes to my mods. I like to try and keep my game as lore-friendly as possible, but that's just me. But anyway, this modder, he loves to put things and have uh, blue tape. That's kind of his signature. He'll put blue tape on weapons, and if you install this pack, it changes all of the duct tape into blue tape. He's also got a bunch of other mods I'd highly recommend checking out. The only other one I wanted to mention that's actually currently in my load order is I also have his Lee Enfield. Or maybe, he, well, he worked on the Lee Enfield. Oh, here it is. I'm sorry. Lee Enfield number four, Mark One, Britain's Finest. That's not included in the bundle of tape, so I, re I installed that one as well. Uh, it's just a standalone uh, hunting rifle, but it's the Lee Enfield rifle from World War II. I love it just because of the way it looks. It's an awesome looking weapon. But all of these weapons are amazingly done. They all have 4K textures. They all, they're all integrated into level lists, so you'll see them starting almost right away, especially with the uh, junk weapons. You'll see blowbacks and handmaids pretty much right away. I think it starts like level 5. Um, there are custom versions of these in the world too. I have found custom versions of the not M1 and the SVT. I have found two custom versions of the Varmint rifle. I've never found a custom handmade, but I'm sure he's probably put them in there somewhere. And my melee builds, I I see concrete sledgehammers all the time. So you'll see these pretty early on for the most part. Uh, if you do some exploring, you'll find the custom variants. I'm not going to tell you because, well, it kind of breaks the whole uh, feeling of, you know, exploring things on your own. But if you are looking for a good weapons pack, I would highly recommend this as a starter because it's all very lore friendly. It's weapons that were actually in previous games or it's weapons that are technically part of the actual lore. I mean, the M1 Grant was in New Vegas. It was called the Battle Rifle. Basically, all you got to do is listen for that ping. The M1 Grand has that signature ping. When you expend the eight-round clip, this top portion right here pops open and throws the spring-mounted magazine out and it'll make that ping sound. It did that in New Vegas. It wasn't that great, but whatever. It was in New Vegas. All of these were in New Vegas in one shape or form, oh, except for these two, of course, because these are from concept art. So if the if it was in New Vegas, it's lore friendly. As much as people like to say, well, the M4 is not lore friendly. Well, technically it is because it was in New Vegas, and New Vegas is a Fallout game. So there you go. You know, we'll definitely talk about that in the future when it comes to lore friendly mods. But there are a ton of mods we're going to go through. Uh, as I said, I'm, I'm going to pack some of them into videos where there'll be packs and there'll actually be a video accompanied with it uh, in the Fallout showing them off. 
so, you know, some of them don't really need a video like this one and a few other weapon mods. I mean, for the most part, they don't need a video because, I mean, why? <laughs> it's just a mod pack. So, uh, but yeah, if you interested in finding out more about these, definitely like and subscribe because there's going to be a new mod video every week. And I'll be doing these for quite a while. So, we got a huge mod list to get through. So, I'm going to shoot one or two a week and then we'll go from there. All right. So, thank you very much. If you're looking for a good lore friendly weapon pack from World War II era and concept art era, then definitely get a bundle of tape, a weapons pack by Axe Ass Ass. He's an, he's an amazing modder. Thank you very much and have a great day.